Hi everyone and welcome to My Coloring Corner. You're with Renee and today we're going to look at the Grimm Fairy Tales coloring books. I have one and volume two and this one and we're going to take a look at these and then I've got a couple of things to talk to you about with one of them um, and we'll get to that after we do a quick flip through of these books. So we're going to start with volume one which is 46 amazing illustrations to color so they have all of the artists listed that designed the each individual picture it is uh, published by Xenoscope and you know just a great way to show who all has drawn the pictures in the book and then of course it has this wonderful how to use area. I'm gonna move my coffee out of the way before I spill it. You know, basically step one, choose a, choose a picture. Step two, pick your, your coloring instrument. Step three, color. That's pretty much it. You know, step four of course is to have fun. So we're gonna take a quick peek. This was a really nice picture of Cinderella with her glass slipper. Another one with Cinderella. It looks like the ball has ended. <laughs> Not in a good way. And here's a really nice looking picture. I don't, I'm not well versed in my uh, Grimm's fairy tales, I take it, because some of these I just don't know what they are. So it's a nice picture though. Beautifully drawn. And then we have Alice in Wonderland with the white rabbit telling her we're out of time, we're late. And then we have beautiful um, wallpapers and just a wild animal back there, a cat back there. Looks like the Queen of Hearts or something to that effect. They've got the heart and the spade and the club. So it may be a one from Alice or not quite sure. And then we have Alice again with the white rabbit. And this time she's a rabbit too. She's got bunny ears on. Beautiful, beautiful work. Absolutely wonderful work. So many deep details you don't see the first time around, which is really cool. Then we've got Beauty and the Beast. There's a little fairy down there. Or it could be Jungle Queen or something. And then we have this one, which reminds me of the Huntsman. And some really, really beautiful intricacies on the axe. And cute bears, butterflies. Then another one from Alice. This looks like Disco Bunny to me. And another one with a ferocious beast cat jumping through the ring of fire. And then another beautiful wallpaper. And this one's really intricate. Lots of little details. Very steampunkish. And then we have another one that looks like it may be the Queen of Hearts type thing or the Defender of the Queen of Hearts or something. Then we have a mixture here and it looks like there's the Cowardly Lion, the, the uh, Straw Man, oh what is it, the Scarecrow, <laughs> and then a wolf and two different a queen and a princess there so I'm not quite sure what this one is but it's really kind of cool it could be Narnia yeah it could definitely be Narnia and then we have Dorothy and Toto as a wolf instead of a little dog Toto is this big brawny wolf see it says Toto there 
And of course, the Emerald City and the Yellow Brick Road. Again, not sure what this one is, but it's really kind of very cool with the steampunk look. And then we have a witch and a beautiful mermaid. And then another different drawing type of, of mermaid, um, obviously done with a, a different artist. It's really kind of very cool, though. It looks very, um, the buildings look British, like the, the Tower of London or something like that. Then we have the Undersea King and a girl with the Octopus Queen there behind him. I can't remember the name of that. What it would come from. Little mermaid type thing. And then we have another um, mermaid with the queen of mermaids by the look of it. And then we have a bit of a mummy witch type thing. And then another wonderful wallpaper and another sorceress type of picture. Lots of different sorceresses in here. This one is got uh, controlling snakes and water snakes and stuff like that. Very, very cool. And then we have Little Red Riding Hood with her wolf on the chain and all the other wolf pack behind them. Again, another one that I'm not sure of um, what this one could be. And this one looks like Little Red Riding Hood is ready for a um, vicious picnic. She's got uh, all sorts of w weapons in her basket there. And another Little Red Riding Hood who has slain the wolf. Could be the witch, the huntsman that slayed the wolf. And this is a powerful warrior princess that's slaying a uh, serpent. And then a fairy with some really wicked looking wings there. It looks like spider webs or maybe it's a spider queen. And then another fairy. And this one's magical with magic coming out of her hands. Beautiful little fairy wings. Well, big fairy wings. All of these pictures are absolutely beautifully drawn. Uh, the faces and the bodies are magnificent. This one is poison ivy type of picture. With her co covered in ivy. Could be Mother Earth, you know, that sort of thing. And then another wonderful um, wallpaper. And this one seems to be a mix of everything, all in, all in one. So it's really, really interesting. Not sure what that one's from. And then we've got the Queen. evil queen by the looks of it with the skulls on her and then we have a Mardi Gras or Day of the Dead type of princess there and then we have a Malibu Beach picture here with the lifeguard don't know how that fits into it but I think they're at the end here, they're getting into some of the other books that are coming out or have come out. This one's really interesting. Again, a type of Day of the Dead, you know, a, a voodoo sorcerer against a superhero. And then we have Route 66 in the Mustang. 
of course, another beautiful lady. And then we have the tree demon. He's caught himself some vixen. And another steampunk type of picture with all sorts of mechanical doodads. I love her boots. <laughs> if I could wear them again, I would. And this it looks like a mixture between Gambit and um, Robin Hood or um, Green Arrow type thing. And there's another one. Absolutely beautiful. Um, looks like she's in a cemetery type of situation there with the haunted house behind her. Fighting off all the demons. And then we have this beautiful picture. Looks like a, t a, steampunk, a steampunk time machine type of picture. Very cool. And that is the end of this book. So that is the first one. Now these are um, done, like I said, by, by many different artists produced by Xenoscope. And one of the things I noticed on their website is they deal a lot with comic books as, and coloring books is very, a very new thing for them. Uh, not new as in this year, but most of what they have on their website are comic books and these are pictures drawn for comic books and adult comic books and stuff like that so a little more risque than than some of the coloring books out there but uh, definitely um, fantastic adult artwork and of course this one also has all of the names of the artists here on the first page and the xenoscope logo how to color relax and create it's just the same as the first book did and then we've got little red riding hood and the wolf which is a really cool picture and this one which has the demon behind her i'm not sure if uh, she's supposed to be um, Snow White or she's got the apple or could she be the witch for Snow White? I'm not sure. And then we've got Sleeping Beauty on her with her prince. And again, another one that I'm not sure what she is in the Grimm's Fairy Tales. But like I said, this is a comic book company that deals with a lot of superheroes and stuff like that so some of these pictures may be um more superhero-ish i'm going to move this up a little bit so that you get a better view of the entire page there that's better sorry about that guys i didn't realize it was cutting off so much and then we've got this one which is a wonderful book looks like a pop-up book and she is defending her kingdom and then another wonderful wallpaper and then we have sky awoke to the find herself surrounded by the seven scary dwarves instead of the seven dwarves they're the seven scary dwarves and they're kind of creepy looking then we have Cinderella and the stepsisters. And then we have another pinup girl, basically. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what she what she brings into it, but she has the sleeves like Snow White. And then we have another Alice in Wonderland type of type of picture. and another wallpaper some of these wallpapers are really very intricate um very mandala type of wallpapers in this book 
And then we have this one, which is a Beauty and the Beast type of picture. There's the beast behind her. And of course the beauty. And here's another Beauty and the Beast in a different format. Obviously a different artist has drawn it. And I'm trying to remember the name of this uh, this fairy tale, and I could can't remember it. I'm not quite sure if it's Rumpelstiltskin or I'm not positive on which fairy tale it is. I know what the fairy tale is, but I can't remember the name of it. And then we've got the queen. She looks like a bit of an ice queen. And then again, another that seems to be a mixture of different fairy tales all in one. And another wallpaper. And this one I'm not quite positive on. Very, very pretty pinup girl, but I'm not positive on what she depicts. And this looks like Snow White and the Queen battling it out. And then we get into some of our Christmassy type of pictures, which is really kind of cool. This is uh, the Nutcracker. And then we have, a, looks like kind of a wedding picture with the, the archery and flowers and the dress. Very interesting picture. Another archery type of picture as well. Um, Robin Hood-ish. <laughs> and then another wallpaper. And then we have an Aladdin um, princess with the lamp riding on the magic carpet. Uh, oh, shoot. You think I can remember the names of these? Of course, I can't. <sighs> and then we have little Miss Muffet, and she's fallen off her tuffet because the spider has scared her. I know that one. <laughs> and then we have these two fighting and pulling hair and everything. Looks like... Uh, Rapunzel gone wild. <laughs> it's kind of what it looks like. And then we have another beautiful steampunk lady. And another wonderful wallpaper. And then another sorceress. Looks like an ice queen or a airbender type of picture. And then we have the frog monster there, you know, fighting with the teacher by the looks of it. You know, it looks like he's on the chalkboard and there's a desk and some books. And then we have the Qu Queen of Hearts again. Looks like the Valentine girl. And then we have Alice from Alice in Wonderland, and the white rabbit is got a little bit of a fan there. Fan and her fanny. <laughs> and then another wallpaper. And this one is very um, interesting. It's a mummy type of monster. And she's slaying it. And she's very steampunk type of picture as well. Um, it may be Van Helsing by the looks of it. It could be Van Helsing type of thing. And then we have Alice has found the white rabbit a little too late by the looks of it. And then we have another Christmas one, and this one looks like um, down the road to the gingerbread house in Candyland. And then we have another fight scene from 
I'm not quite sure what this is from. It could be Van Helsing type thing. Not positive. And then we have the mummy. Looks like Tutankhamun has come to life there. And another wonderful wallpaper. And then the Queen of Hearts and her castle with her little fairy friend. It could be something else, absolutely. I have no idea. <laughs> um, I'm just going with what I remember and what I think they might be. Uh, this is, of course, Little Red Riding Hood with the wolf stalking her. And this would be three blind mice. And another um, Day of the Dead type of picture with a voodoo queen. And another Queen of the Hearts. Very steampunkish background there. And that is the end of that one. This one has in the back of it, because it is the, the second one, um, of course, they did this one, and then they did three others. So they've got Grim Fairy Tales, different seasons, and that's this, the um, Day of the Dead type of pictures in there, as well as Myths and Legends, which is Van Helsing's and stuff like that, which is in there, and then Alice in Wonderland, of course, which is also in there. So this one is a mixture of all their books put together that they'd come out with since coming out with fairy tales. So these two books definitely go together. Now this book, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on because this book, as you will see very shortly, is very different. It does not have the initial information page telling you what's all in the book. Um, it was copywritten this year um, and that sort of thing. It has a test color page, which the others don't have, and it doesn't have that information page. It doesn't have that relaxed color, stay safe, you know, that kind of thing. And if you notice, a lot of the pages are very, very, very dark, um, and the pictures are smaller. And you will see in some that uh, the pictures are cut off, like this one here, for example. The serpent woman behind this couple in the other book is completely cut off. And it looks like it's been enlarged and photocopied. That's because this book is a photocopy. This book is a fake. It is not published by uh, the Xena, by the same company that this book here is published by. I have spoken with Xenoscope and they have confirmed my suspicions that this book is um, a copyright infringement. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking through this book. Um, what I would suggest if you have purchased this book as well as if, um, you know, you've given this book away or if somebody has purchased this book for you, um, return it. If you know somebody that has it on their wish list or if you have it on your wish list, please take it off. This is a copyright infringement. This is a copy. It is stolen art. Um, as you can see, just by flipping through casually, there's details missing. That, you know, it's a, obviously a bad photocopy that's not even straight. Um, you know, some of them are just off. And when I was going through this book the first time, 
um, I've already done this video once. Unfortunately, it did not record with the sound. So when I did record it earlier, um, I went through this book before talking to the um, producer. And basically what they've done is they've gone through and they've removed art that has either been posted or whatnot of different books um, that they have produced. Like this picture here, for example, is in this book. And it's not even, like the, the coloring of it is just not even close. Um, let's see if I can find it. It's too dark in this picture. Um, the bedding is wrong. The, the sky in, in the window is wrong. There's so many different things that are wrong in this picture. And as soon as I can find it, I will show you. And of course, you know, I'm not going to be able to find it now. Because now I'm looking for it, right? I do apologize. My dog is whining up for some reason. I'm pretty sure it was in this one. It could have been in the first one. Okay, so it may have been in the first one. Oh, there it is. So as you can see, the, the ceiling is completely different. Um, like the ceiling here is been blacked out and it looks like they're basically what it looks like is they they took a colored picture and washed it out as much as they could um, these are actually pictures on the wall where they've completely removed the wall and made it look like I'm not sure it, what they were trying to make it look like, but the picture is very wrong. Uh, it's not, it looks like it's been, it been colored at some point and grayscaled the best they could possibly grayscale it or erase it. And uh, they've added, you know, some dark details with ink or something. But it's, it's uh, it, the exact same picture. However, this one here has been embellished on and copied. And unfortunately, that kind of sucks. So, uh, like I said, I have contacted uh, the uh, Xenoscope people about this book. They are working on having um, books like this. Uh, they say there's several of them that are out there that uh, are copyright infringements and they are working on having them removed. However, the only way that they can, can successfully um, put these people out of business is us um, not purchasing their, their books. They are, the paper's not as nice. Um, like in these books, the paper is very smooth. It's very white. You know, it's fairly thick. And the, the art is very, very clean. It's not foggy. Like, you know how when you photocopy something that's been colored, you get that, that foggy effect on it. Where this book, the paper is really thin. Most of the pictures are, like I said, foggy. It looks like they've been colored with ink and, and embellished on and then published. Like this one here, it's so dark. There's no way you could color over that. 
you know, some of the pictures are very clean and pretty much the same. However, areas have been cut off. You know, or there's pictures that aren't even in, like this one here, for example. You can see skips all the way through it. It's missing different details, like the cookies down here, the, you know, all different things that were details in the original picture are missing. And basically what they've taken is they've taken the original picture, removed as much of the coloring as they could possibly remove, and then blew it up and cut off a lot of, a lot of information because, you know, her ears are, are cut off at the top there. I think it was in here. Sorry, I can't remember half the time where, where I see things. <laughs> and I should have bookmarked them knowing that I'd have to read, knowing that I had to redo this video and I didn't even think about it. But there's so many inconsistencies and so much um, going against this book being real that as I was flipping through it the first time, my brain said, okay, there's something wrong. There's something very wrong with these pictures and um, they're, they're just not true to the other two books. So when I contacted them, I told them I'm very, very suspicious of this book and I, I am got the gut feeling telling me that this book is a fake. Could you please uh, contact me and let me know if this is a fake so I can let my viewers know? Because I have, re I am reviewing it on uh, YouTube and they immediately got back to me and quickly informed me that yes, it is in fact a fake um, replication of the, the works in their book. And like I said, they're working their best to take these off the market, get them taken off the market. But unfortunately, they need us to not buy them so that uh, they can do that. And for some reason, I'm not finding that picture. And I know it's in here because I showed it to you. Of course, I've probably flipped past it like four times now. Ah, there it is. Okay, so as you can see, the top of her ears don't go all the way up to the top of the page like they do here. The mushroom is smaller. Um, the details in the mushrooms is way off. The details in her skin and her hair is off. And you get down here into her panties and everything else, and that's not as detailed in this picture as it is here. Same with into her stockings, into the rabbit. The clock is, is not as detailed in this picture. You know, it just looks like somebody's gone over it with a, with a dark pen and uh, shaded some areas in and colored in different things. They've completely cut off everything from the coffee uh, from the, the from the cup here down, so all of these uh, treats are missing. All of the cookies and um, even the British flag is missing. They've got a little bit of it here, and that's it. So it's definitely a copy. It's just a really bad copy. <laughs> you know, um, I'm not sure if it's a drawn copy or if it's just an embellished photocopy, but. Needless to say, this book on Amazon, if you see this book on Amazon, it is not the same as these two books. These two books are published by the proper people. The um, artists are all given credit and worth every penny. Um, my husband bought these for me for Christmas, so I don't know exactly 
how expensive they were, but I do know that I had them on my list and they're about $10 each. This one here, um, I do believe was a little bit cheaper, but it's fake and it doesn't give any, um, any sort of credit to any artist and it doesn't list its publisher. So with that being said, I would strongly suggest if you have this book, send it back. If you have this book on order, return it as soon as you get it. If you have friends and family that uh, are thinking about buying this book along with the other two grim fairy tale books, uh, let them know that this one is a fake and it is stolen artwork. So please don't purchase it. All in all, um, these two, absolutely fantastic. And I actually have another one coming. So I will be reviewing that as well uh, later on when it arrives. Beautiful artwork, definitely a little more risque than, than a lot of things that are out there. Definitely an adult coloring book, which is wonderful. That's one of the few things that, um, you know, a lot of people complain about with some, some coloring books is, or some coloring artwork is it's very childish. That there's not enough um, adult content. And this definitely gives adult content. So... I hope you enjoyed this flip through and this information. I hope that you take it to heart and help us and help um, the publishers of Grim Fairy Tales remove things like this from the market. The only way they can do that is if we don't buy it. If we buy it, we're paying them to do this. Just like anybody else um, that is a published artist um, that has books uh, published without their name on it. They're not getting paid for that. So somebody who has stolen some artwork and published a book is getting paid for every one that we order. So if you have ordered it, send it back. If you have ordered it and colored in it and can't send it back, make sure you leave a review letting other people know that this artwork is stolen. It is copy written stolen. There is a huge copyright infringement with this book. I can't say enough about that. Um, it just makes me very mad. It, it angers me so much that um, artists are, are doing beautiful work and having people steal it from them. Other than, than that information, I thank you all very much for, for joining me and I hope you enjoyed these flip throughs. If I went too fast, I'm sorry. Um, I do have the earlier flip through uh, available. If you would like, I can put some music to that and you can go through it slowly with me the first time. Or we can just, uh, you know, have it this short and sweet one and uh, let you know that these two books are wonderful. I hope you uh, enjoyed the artwork in them. I definitely do. And I can't wait to color some of them and get them posted up on Facebook. Now, of course, we do have a Facebook group. Of course, it's called My Coloring Corner. If you uh, would like to join us over on Facebook, of course, the link is in the About section below. Just fill out the application form and we would be happy to get you in there and uh, get you posting because, you know, we, we enjoy seeing everybody's pictures and their artwork. Of course, like, comment and subscribe. Um, if you are not already a subscriber to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring the bell. It'll tell you every time I upload a new video. Other than that, guys, I thank you all very much for watching. And, of course, relax, color, and stay safe. All right, bye-bye for now.